The main target of outage management is to reduce unplanned outage times for affected customers to a minimum. There are three different solutions in the market. There is a fully decentralized solution where the switch controllers are coordinating themselves automatically and therefore they can achieve based on IEC 61850 a restoration time of 300 milliseconds. There is a semi-decentralized solution where a master controller is coordinating fault indicators and RTUs. The third solution is an advanced distribution management system in the control center, which also can restore the power within one minute. If you want to integrate meters, the additional advantage is that uh, the meters also can identify faulty sections in the low voltage. And if you compare the power delivered and paid for, you can also identify commercial losses. There's a quite new alternative, fault localization in the cloud. Fault sensors indicators are reporting detected faults directly to the Siemens cloud service. Field crew members registered to the cloud service can access the information directly and will see the fault location in a Google Maps overlay with GBRS coordinates and the fault cause. So they can go to the right spot with the right equipment directly and therefore they reduce the outage time dramatically. As easy as to access the information of the faults with a mobile device like a mobile phone or tablet, it is to set up the cloud. So just take a photo of the QR code of the fault sensor indicator and it will be registered automatically in the cloud with all its attributes and the GPS position. And that's really everything you have to do. Fault localization in the cloud reduces the time to identify the fault dissection to seconds and it allows the service team to directly restore power and start repair work. In a nutshell, this reduces the revenue losses and improves the customer satisfaction. It uh, reduces the operational costs because they have not to patrol the line. And this is all possible without own investment and maintenance costs for IT infrastructure.